the Supreme stuff that everyone's in here for. Um, as you guys know, I went to New York for the in-store release and that, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know like, the whole story. I was like such a mess with everything. I'm not going to go into it again. Um, but I actually went to Dover and I got some stuff from there. So this pickup video is from in-store stuff from New York at Dover and also the week after of the web store drop, which I also had some issues too. Um, when I went on with my phone because I was at work, uh, I just kept on getting like this HTML Mr. Robot hacker code and I, I couldn't figure it out. Like I literally thought I was banned. I was like, they really fucking banned me? First Instagram, now this? It's like, what the fuck? But then I eventually restarted my phone like 30 minutes later. Most of the, you know, like the good shit was gone, but um, actually pretty much got everything I wanted except those uh, Meta uh, those blood and semen decks like that looked like that Metallica cover, uh, Reload or Fuel, whatever that, that was a garbage album, but um, that's the only thing I really missed out that I wanted. I said I wanted the chain, um, I thought about it, you know, I spent more dollars and uh, I really didn't want to spend 300 more dollars on the chain, but it was it was a pretty cool chain. But um, yeah, so this is web store drop and in store drop all into one video, let's get right into it, quit my talking. Um, first off, this is four orders, and my thinking was if I do four orders, I'll get a lot of stickers and the NOS sticker, and that did not happen. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six box logo stickers. You said, hey, you should have eight, and uh, yeah, they didn't give me stickers in one order, thanks. So there's those stickers, and then um, on the last two orders, I got the season stickers. Like, I, don't, I didn't get anything in the super early orders, or 11.30, you know, orders. Um, first off, I got the holographic, the one sticker I got at Dover Street Market. Thanks for hooking up with the one sticker. I'm supposed to get two at Dover Street, but he said they were running low, but there was no one behind me, so I didn't see the point in that. And then we got the, this one I'm super happy to get. I was really surprised to get it too, the Gons Ram graphic. Got in the red face too. Um, yeah, that's a really cool graphic. I really like that. You'll see in this video, like, uh, this is a heavy Gons um, video. And then I got the shit face one. So I'm happy to get those stickers. Wasn't expecting it after the first like three orders. And also in those last two orders, I got one toothbrush and two toothbrush. So I was happy to get the free gifts too, plus with the Gon sticker. All I really want is the Nas and the, the dollar sticker, you know, the box Lego plastic ones. I'm not really that, really don't care that much. And I know someone's gonna say, hey, give me the toothbrush. Hey, buy me a Nas sticker and send it to me and I'll give you the toothbrush. So let's get right into the pickups. First off, this was from a Dover Street Market. One of the few things they had were a lot of the hats that weren't super popular. You've got the green survival of the fittest in blue embroidered. This is kind of like a flimsy, like a motion logo hat almost. Um, just nylon material, like a good uh, wind, you know, like windy, rainy, snowy day kind of hat. Supreme embroidered on the back, black little full tab. The inside is like terry cloth too, so I guess it's pretty good for absorbing sweat and all that. But yeah, this is definitely a good rain day hat. Something I just grabbed because I went to Dover Street Market and like I, I go all the way up here and I'm gonna get something. So I got this hat, pretty flat, nothing crazy, but I'm happy to get it. I like the material a lot. The second hat I got was the S logo in slate, tonal. Um, kind of reminds you of those box logos they did a few years back with the tonal box logo. I like the, I like this color a lot. It's pretty much like you know it's tonal, so you can't really see the S like embroidered, but you gotta like the color. And I thought this was a pretty cool color. And I'm surprised they were still available too. Um, Use the S cap to go pretty quick, I thought, but I don't know. And on the back, same tonal, Supreme embroidered. You got the brown leather strap, a little buckle gold with Supreme on there. Um, yeah, I'm just super happy for this hat. Super happy with this hat because my S logo I got like way back whenever. Um, it's like the hat I wear the most, and I also wanted to get like you know different colors and stuff like that. I got like the varsity one with like the little fell, and I got some uh, other ones. But I like this one too because it keeps it simple, just like you know cotton. Next hat I got was my favorite hat. Happy to get it. Look, I like another thing. I was surprised I was still there, like around like you know 11:30. The Gons Ram graphic, green. It's kind of like that classic, kind of like hard, like uh, like wool or like cotton. I don't know, like that hard ass material. What you know what I'm talking about? Snapback green, Supreme embroidered on the back. Yeah, there's a super cool graphic. I like like the Gons little like Ram logo, with, like the Supreme underneath it spelled wrong. It's pretty cool. Then we'll get into some of the accessories. Of course, like the most probably bought accessory ever, like in every Supreme video ever. Got the hands tees in black, medium. Pretty much at the beginning of every season, I just grab a another pack of these because they wear out by the time of like the next season or whatever anything like that i think it's just a good fit classic not too expensive you get three of them so i always kind of grab more of them then 
we're getting to something I usually uh, we're getting to something I usually don't buy is the bags, and uh, this is the shorter bag of course in black. As I was skating around New York, I realized like I really didn't want a backpack. It was like pulling me down. I just didn't want the extra like you know thing to carry around and hold. And if you want to skate around, jump off curves, it's kind of like weighs you down. So I was like, you know what? I need a shoulder bag. So that made me actually want for the first time ever. I never thought about buying a shoulder bag. Is get the black shoulder bag when it came back on the web store. So I got the black shoulder bag. It's kind of got this laminate, shiny material. Nothing crazy. Nothing out there. Nothing really that special. Uh, it's not the camo. It's not the stars. You know. But I thought it was you know classic. You can wear it with everything. It's not gonna you know, get dirty or anything. I just thought, you know, it was like, I just like the stuff that you can wear with like, and just not get dirty and just, you know, it just goes with everything. You know, you can't go wrong with black. So I got that. It's got two compartments. Easy to put your wallet, your cell phone, anything extra, your, you know, your money. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy to get that accessory. I'm gonna be using that a lot. Especially when you're skating around and you don't wanna like have a bag or anything like that laying around. And then something else, I got this bag from Dover Street Market. One of the few things they had were the bags and the hats. They had the backpack, like every single kid walking out had got the black backpack. Um, I, I don't know, I don't know, I, just, I guess just to grab something. So I got this with the green hat. This, as you can tell, is the black duffel, that laminate shiny material, Supreme 3M across the side, Supreme box like right there, nothing on the back. And then you got kind of these like little, carry and strap right there and you got your buckle for your strap it also comes with the straps so you can put it on your shoulder on this side the same carry it like this hang it up and uh it's got a zip on the side right here and then if you open it up it's got another little like uh mesh bag right there and then that's all that's inside there's nothing else but it's pretty big you can put a lot of stuff in there and like I said, I don't know. I don't know why I was feeling the bags this season. Like, because it seemed like everyone hated them. I usually never like even care about the bags. It's always like, oh, the bags. But for some reason, I wanted these, and you know, it's not something special. Like I said, but I just thought all black, a little bit shiny, a little bit of a touch to it. And you can, it, it goes with everything. It's just timeless. Won't get dirty. Bags get dirty. Throw them on the. Like my favorite pickup this season so far, the Gons Ram graphic on a like a light I don't know what that color of this is but it's kind of like a faded red it looks a little bit brighter on camera but it's a little bit faded red and uh it's not super bright like I can wear a super bright but I want to do something different from the dark colors uh, you know I want to freak people out when they see me not looking you know like all blacked out so I got the red one embroidered Gons logo right there super cool got like a few colors in it nothing on the back you just got white button ups collar's nice and straight not crinkly or like you know flappy or anything the nice thing about these polos too, or these uh, collars, whatever you want to call them, is that they actually have an elastic sleeve. Some of them don't. I feel like that looks kind of like sloppy when they don't. The sleeves are a little bit bigger than medium polos or Fred Perry's or stuff like that, but the width and the length is uh, perfect. So it kind of has more like a, a casual fit polo, not like a dressy, you know, like you know, Fred Perry or, you know, Ralph Lauren polo. So I kind of dig that too. It's cool. And then I got the Gons Ram logo deck. Look, look, look. Got Guns everywhere right here now, looking like Christmas over here. Yeah, just as, like I said, I posted a picture of this on my Instagram. I just thought this was like, like the one of the best, if not like my favorite, non collab artist decks in a long time. Um, when I first opened this out of the box, I was like, damn, that shit really pops. Like it's real vibrant. It just kind of like pops out of the background. It's got a nice natural red ply, and just the graphic right here, the supreme right there. I just feel like, man, it just looks really cool. You have to like see it in person. I feel like you can even see it a little bit on camera. Like, I don't know, it just really pops and like stuff like that kind of gives me back to that like 90s, 80s vibe with like the neon colors and all that stuff and not so subtle today like how like fucking awesome it is and all the boards now. So I just really thought it was a cool graphic. Something I wish I could have got all the colors in, but I went with red just because I felt like that was like the original color. I felt like the other ones look kind of like alternate colors. And then on the back, yeah, it's Supreme sticker now. I got a little warning logo. Supreme World Famous, and the, and the shape on this, if you're interested, for the few that will actually skate them, um, it looks pretty much like a symmetrical shape. Like the nose is pretty big, which is good. I like the big, I like big noses, as you can tell. And then on the tail, the tail is actually pretty wide too. And um, I, li I like that a lot, because I like when they're kind of like the same. I don't really like a small tapered, uh, I think I used to, I think in one video I said I liked like tapered tails because I feel like I could scoop it with a tray flip better, but now as I'm skating like more different kind of things, like I like a bigger tail because I feel like I can control the board more. 
So I'm kind of like changing my opinion on shapes now. I kind of like the bigger tail. So this is a pretty cool shape. I don't know if you can really tell from that. It's pretty much just symmetrical. And it's not you know, a super heavy board or anything like that. And those are all my pickups. Um, like I said, I, I always appreciate you guys watching the videos. I appreciate you guys being patient as I waited to get all these pickups in. Um, I really appreciate the support. It's cool to go up to New York and uh, you know some of you guys like talk to me and I, I kind of get like the vibe that you guys kind of like appreciate that I do the videos like in a honest, non um, hypey way. I guess I would say um, I'm just trying to be. I just you know just being who I am and I appreciate the people that you know like support it. You know, I'm not trying to be anything I'm not, and uh, I'm not buying shit to resell. Just you know get the views so appreciate that you guys you know you know appreciate the genuineness of these videos and uh like i said thank you guys so much for the support thank you guys for staying staying tuned for all like you know the weeks not posting videos um next week i got the nike air force twos in blue post a video review on feed of those i know a lot of people hate them but i think you guys a lot of people will actually like like them when they see them in person it's like i said when i saw them on the UK drop in person from other people's Instagram. I thought they looked way better, looked a little bit more higher quality details and quality and stuff like that. So I can't wait to do that video. Can't wait to see them in person. $98 shoe, you can't go wrong. So like I said, thank you guys so much for watching the videos. I appreciate it. Follow me on Instagram, Mike.Kilroy if you want to see more. Snapchat if you want to see like stupid stuff. Don't go on Snapchat that much, but if you want to see some non-related stuff, I do it for the kids that have Snapchat and Instagram. Like I said, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the Nike Air Force 2 video uh, next week, probably Wednesday. And, uh